another beautiful episode of your favorite show, Coded Daily, where we give you the full juice you ever need. I am Iremofe Koforola, as you always know. I am a child clothed in dignity and honor. So today on the show, I have an amazing personality, the ever simple by your day, you are. <laughs> thank you, Ire. Good to be here. And thank you for inviting me to the show once again. Um, I'm glad to be here. We always talk about issues that are necessary in the environment, something that people can relate with. Yeah. So I'm always glad hmm. to want to share my tiny view. Hmm. And truth be told, the, the main reason I always love you being on this show is because you are very intelligent and you know, the way you shed more light on issues. Thank you for that. the compliment, I really appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, today on the show, we want to really, really look at uh, a topic, which is, is adulthood really a scam? Wow. Is adulthood really a scam? Because you know, everybody has different experience while growing up, yeah. and adulthood has its peculiarities. We all have different stories, different experience and tales you understand as children so i would love to say do you really believe that adulthood is a scam um first of all i i can't think of a way you would or what you may what, what you thought of to make you say that adulthood is a scam okay because i don't believe that one bit <laughs> um, adulthood is going to be challenging or it is mm. challenging for people so but to say it's a scam is very far-fetched like people want to grow up children look up to their parents yeah. and want to become them when they grow up but i believe the the word this come came from the fact that um people had expectation when they yes, were younger you understand. Like when, I, when i become older this is who i'm going to be but they find out that it's not going to be that easy and okay. now result to saying hmm. adulthood is a scam so basically just believe the main reason people say adulthood is a scam is because of probably challenges they face yeah, exactly. so they just conclude that, that adulthood is a scam, is a scam. okay oh, that's beautiful how was growing up like for you um growing up for me i would say it was fun mm -hmm. uh, as a child i got to you know get an aspect get a taste of every aspect of being a child and a teenager mm, right? interesting so i wasn't really locked up in the house oh and i wasn't allowed to i wasn't given a free hand to go out okay. all the time so i balanced it out or my parents helped me balance okay. it out i would play oh. and i would i would make sure they, they make sure i made i read my books oh, okay and when anytime i do something bad they don't spare the rod <laughs> so your case was not the case of spare the rod and Th there was more the child there was no sparing for me hmm. when i when you. i did something bad they gave it to me uh, like I, used, I, I collected some things when i was uh, growing up so it's it's not the case that while growing up you were curious about sex about girls uh, about so many things young young children want to okay. know okay uh when you know when children grow when they became t they become teenagers you start getting curious about all these things yeah. but one thing about me is this i was afraid of being punished wow. i don't like to get into trouble hmm. so i avoided what would make me or what would put me in trouble okay so the uh, sex girls uh, drugs parties i avoided those because I don't want to be in trouble for any reasons. What you would find me doing when I was growing up was playing games, okay. sitting at some watching TV, when animations, animations <laughs> you know, right? So I avoided okay. trouble. I just don't like trouble. So, so would, would I say you are more of the gentle guy or? I, I, I like to see myself as a gentle guy. Mm. I like to see myself. But this face does not look gentle. <laughs> Well, <laughs> there's, there's always a saying that say looks can be deceiving, mm. so probably that's it. So your 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 case now, it's the case that your looks eh, could be deceiving. Too. Yes, but I'm putting I'm I'm going to be probably a rough person or mm. probably a player. A, a player. Uh -huh. I play games. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason I play. See the angle. See the angle know, you are taking. I don't know about all that. I play games. So. Not only games. You don't play only games. Uh, you play girls. Too. Yeah, mm. fair, I don't know about that too. What about you? You're asking me. What about you? Okay. How was your childhood like? Well, interesting. For me, my childhood was something that it was okay. Let okay. me use that word. It was okay. I had a lot to learn. I was surrounded by people who showed me love. You understand? So I was able to really pick up one or two things while growing up. Yeah. So yeah. it has been so excellent. So childhood for me was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> when you say pick up one or two things, are you like saying you picked up some things from home or outside? Like for oh, me, when I trying to change this no, table no, no, come I, on. I, I, am, I am the guest here but you know 
we're trying to understand ourselves by having a conversation about okay. adulthood when we are both adults. So yeah. it's, it's a lot of things we share about views from both angles. Okay, that's good. Now that bio is the one <laughs> making me do this. Actually, for me, uh, I would say, yes, there were things that I learned from outside the world. You understand? Because there's no way you not learn different exactly, things. Exactly. You can't just stick to what you've learned at home. Yeah. But you should know your boundaries to the kind of knowledge you'll be receptive to. Yes, that's And the true. kind of things you will learn. So I was able to pick up different things for um, different people at different stages of my life. You start yeah. from childhood to teenage years to this present moment. You know, I've been able to pick one or two things. So now let me change the table. <laughs> <laughs> so now I would want to ask you this very interesting okay. topic. Okay. What were those things that you learned from childhood that are still beneficial to you to, to this present? Okay. Um, the first thing I learned. When I was 12 years old, okay. I started cooking. Wow, when I was 12 years old, yes. Hmm. Uh, my dad just looked at me one day and said, Bio, go cook in the kitchen. Wow. Just out of nowhere, I go to the kitchen. I was like, Daddy, wow. how? Anything you cook, we'll eat it. Mm. So from there, uh, we had a roaster. My mom would cook, then I would cook. Mm. I was the first, I'm the first child, rather. Okay. So my sisters were still very young, so no okay. kitchen for them. So I, are you the, the son? Yes, I am. Wow, interesting. Interesting. So, <laughs> cooking was the first thing I learned okay. from. Then I also learned something from my my, my dad. Um, um, don't always talk. Be al- always listen. Mm. Be the last to talk. Wow. Uh, but always listen. Mm. So even at now, mm. as I am, I'm older and I'm an adult now, mm. I I barely talk when I'm outside. Yeah. When I see a bunch of people talking, I always listen. Wow. I'm, I'm the last to have my own input. So those two things have helped me. Uh, I have to say this now, since I can cook now, yeah. I can I can say confidently that there's no girl that will come and do shakara for me. Have you heard? <laughs> hey, girls, will, have you heard? You. Mm. I will okay. just laugh. So you just go into the kitchen and, and just do your thing. And design my food. And are you really a good cook? Anyway. Yes, I am. You better have not tasted your food, so there's no way I would know. You, you won't know. Not yet. Mm. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Now, let's come to adulthood now. This okay. is the present stage of our lives. Yes. How has it been for you? Adulthood, how is it? You know, how has it been like for you? Um, our, our parents give us pointers while growing that this is how it is. But spe- some children miss the pointers mm. of how adulthood will look like. So there's just when I hear that thing that adulthood is a scam. Mm. But adulthood as it is now, it's it's fun to know that you are the mm. one taking care of yourself now. Mm. You have a responsibility. You're, you're, responsibility. Nobody, you're not letting anybody mm. for help. You are the one fighting to get your own goals, mm, yeah. to make your own money, to mm. pay your own bills. Mm. It's actually a, an interesting fun, a, a mm. joy to it, doing things yourself. So, I don't think it's actually going to be, you know, a fun thing. Yeah. <laughs> to get mm. how, how I see it. Mm, interesting, you know, adulthood comes with responsibility, and it's it really means you have to discover more about yourself. About yourself. You understand? As a child, there are so many things, probably as as a result of the training you had that you could have learned, yes. you understand? But uh, being an adult, you begin to learn so many things about yourself. You know, this is the time you begin to take responsibility. You, Like you said, it's more like you have to fend for yourself. Yes. You you now know what you like. You discover so many things about yourself. About your sexual life, it, you get to know more because you, you, know, you are growing and growing. everything. About your career, about finances, every aspect of your life. So it's really, really, a really a, it's really a lot of work. Adulthood, you understand? So, guys, this is really getting interesting, and I'm quite sure you are enjoying this episode. I I know you have your own adulthood experience as well as your childhood experience too. So, we go on a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Guys, it is still your favorite show, Coded Daily, and I'm quite sure you are enjoying the full G streets by your day. <laughs> but I'm quite sure all the bills have been looking at it. I see this one guy. Hey, uh, hey. I wouldn't know. I'm behind the camera now, so I don't know who's looking Which at me. Behind the, you are in front of the camera now. Ah, uh-uh. ah. Uh-huh. 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 uh huh and I would want to ask this question okay. because, well, I wouldn't say it's a it's very a tricky one or anything. Would you always want to be an adult 
would you always be would you always want to be an adult or a child okay that's a very tempting and tricky question because i've said it's not tricky it, it is <laughs> tricky asking if you would prefer to be an adult or stay as a child okay um as a child you you tend to receive oh, a okay. lot hmm. receive training receive support receive encouragement, encouragement receive lashes, receive lashes. <laughs> so as a child you tend to receive a mm. lot and and when you become an adult yeah instead of your age you mm. tend to be a giver mm. you mm. give uh, emotional help you give us financial assistance yeah you tend to give the lashes this time mm. give encouragement so um i don't think uh, it's right for anyone to say he wants to stay a child mm. that means the person is selfish all want to receive hmm. the way I see it. Hmm. So you want to you want to be a child means you want to keep taking the encouragement, means taking the support, the, the support and everything. So you don't want to give at all. You don't want to give. Hmm. But do you know that there are adults who are, who still don't give, want to give? Okay, you understand? They they just believe that you should keep giving to them. So they don't want to give out at all. We need to understand that adulthood does not mean. You are now past 18 years old or you are 20. Okay. I don't who starts start from up here. Hmm. Interesting. So, so it's, no, it's not a matter of your age. Yes. Imagine a, a, a child or a daughter of a family at 16 making her own money. Okay. Paying her own bills, making her own life choices. Hmm. Of course, she's going to have assistance from parents because she's 16, but she's already making the bulk load of decision by herself. Yeah. That is no longer a child. Hmm. Now an adult. An adult. Forget that she's 16 or 17 years old. Mm. But she's making life choices by herself. She's choosing to do this. Choosing to go for this. So, so if I should guess right, being an adult doesn't necessarily have to be, come with age. It's not, no, no, you no. understand? So age is, age is, 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 but, is it's part of it, but right? it's not the driving force of adulthood. Mm. Do you understand? So, because there could, sometimes there could be adults who are actually children in a way. You know, with the way they react to issues of life, with the way they behave and all that. So sometimes we could say, if you see an adult at age forty years old living in his or her parents' house, still taking money <laughs> from his or her parents, would you refer to that person as an adult? You hmm. might be an elderly person by age, you already yeah. your body does the number. Yes, but come on, hmm. at that age you are still receiving hmm. and not giving out. Then it's. It's hard to see you an adult. Very okay. Hard. Now you know, adulthood. We should not forget that after we've talked about the responsibility that comes with adulthood, it also comes with pressure as well. The pressure to make money, yes. the pressure to get married, yes. pressure to have the luxurious things of life. You understand? Yes. So that's why you have a lot of young minds today. People were supposed to be vibrant. We were supposed to be, you know, up and doing. And these guys are just over everywhere, just to make money in a quick way. You know the quick, uh, the make uh, the quick way to make, make um, money. The quick way to, to, to make money. money yes, yeah, yes. the quick way to make money syndrome that everybody just wants to arrive. You understand overnight. So what would you have to say to all this thing? Because it has really eaten deep in our society. Um, there's a word that this our, our youths we youths say these days that I want to blow. Yeah, so everybody wants to blow. Want to uh, blow. Even you buy your, you want to blow. <laughs> everybody wants to blow. I want to blow. Uh. I'm not a bumbo. <laughs> I want to make uh, it. I don't yeah, want to it, blow. It's still the same thing now. Okay. If you blow, I, I agree. If you I blow agree. like Lekon, <laughs> or Lekon, anything. If you blow no. like Lekon, oh you my don't blow that. Okay, the thing is this. People, um, the youth nowadays, they want to make money fast, as in, yeah. The sharp, sharp. Um, uh, nobody make wants millions, to uh, billions, if, uh, if yeah. possible. If possible, it, it's not a bad thing to want to make money or to fast. dream big. Yeah, it's not a bad thing to dream big, like you say. But yeah. um, the way you go about it really matters. Mm. You can make money very fast. It's a very good channel. Yes. A very legal, positive channel. So the IBI or EFC should not start looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> very. But then again, I I look at. The, my country Nigeria mm. and I look at the channel to get to those particular achievements mm. is not really good per se quote unquote mm. in my country because the structure of the country is making things it's hard bad. for mm. imagine someone has been sitting in a position for 40 years mm. when will you leave mm. somebody to enter the place when and will even you the youth when will they have the opportunity the to just you so know, sometimes take over? That uh, these are also factors we need to. I'm not going to say the youths are right going through some channels. I'm not going to say that they are 
wrong. really totally wrong because mm. of the change. So you, are just, to, you are just sitting in the middle. I'm, I'm on the fence here. Okay. Some the youth need to think of better ways, ways to go there. But then the structure of the country should also help them mm. push or push mm. us in the right direction to help us. That's beautiful. So I just want to say adulthood is a is it's it, it, it requires a lot. A lot, lot of responsibility. A lot. And please the pressures that come with it, the pressure that comes with it, do not let it weigh you down. Do not do not let it get to you. Exactly. Just be yourself. Because everybody is always pressurized different way or the other. I, I, I need to get married before. Yes. This, I need to make money before. And when you see your friends that it's are all good. achieving all these things yes. before you... Then the pressure begins to mount yes. more and more. It's all the good thing to dream big. Yeah. But let's also know that we should go through the right channel. Okay. So you enjoy the, you know... So I just want to ask this last question. What advice would you give your 18-year-old self? <laughs> okay. Um, talking to my 18-year-old self right now... Mm-hmm. Um, don't change anything. I won't change anything. Hmm. The same decisions I made that brought me here. So no regret the same whatsoever. One I will take no regret whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm happy to be where I am, and I'm happy with the decisions I made. So hmm. that is beautiful. So on this game, I'll make sure that I really deal with you. The game that I, 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 I'll, I'll make sure I'm, I, I'm already leading. Uh, you're I'm already right. leading. <laughs> you see, at the end of this show, you see where I already beat you back to back. On this. All right. I'm quite All sure. Right. Thank you very much, Bayode, for coming to this to today's episode of Code Daily. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, and I'm quite sure you enjoyed yourself. I did, <laughs> and I'm going to enjoy myself later when I beat you in this game. Oh, come on, fit guy! Show. I would make sure I beat you back to back on this on this game. We're here ah. together now. You know, I, I was beating you before we started. We are here together. Okay, now, so this is all we can take on today's episode of Code Daily, and I'm, I'm quite sure you enjoyed yourself. The way we both enjoyed ourselves. So, for your quality uh, video coverage, be it any form of events, conferences, seminar, even on your website page, you can always reach out to us via our social media handle, which is being displayed on your screen. So, that I come your way another time. I remain my one and only self, Iremofe Kufurola, a child always clothed in dignity and honor. And thanks so much to our crew, guys. We will we, we make this on um, today's show a reality. I love you guys so much. So thank you once again. I'm by the lesson of yours. Bye for now. Hmm? Bye, guys. Uh, in any way you want to do the bye. Till, till next time. Yeah, bye. Tell them bye now. Bye. 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 <laughs> See you guys. I'm beating you now. You're not going to beat I'm me. I'm beating you. I'm leading by 21 points. Hope you know. <laughs>